you know, this isn't very much of much of a technical talk. This is more of a talk about, I guess, how I uh, ended up here uh, in the first place. Um, and it mostly came about from kind of asking myself this question: uh, where where should I be? Uh, how do I? Where am I going? Um, and it wasn't really a question about where I'm going, you know, as far as you know my academic life or my professional life, because I, you know, C S plus, I got a pretty pretty clear path about where I'm going. Um, it was more about, you know, the people I surround myself with and the kind of the environments I, I, I put myself in. Um, when I uh, when I was, I guess, still kind of uh, going through school and everything else, um, you know, I grew up in a suburban neighborhood um, in New Jersey, uh, and you know, I wasn't really surrounded by people that looked like me, and that was really wasn't a problem, especially when I was a little kid, because I just did that concept that being different people didn't really sent like come into my head, right? Um, so it just never mattered. Um, but it mattered to the adults, and as I grew older and older, they kind of kept making this differentiation between me and the other kids. And you know, as I grew older, next to the kids that used to kind of disregard me as a person, they began to see me as black. Um, they began to see me as a black male. Um, you know, the, the jokes started pouring in and everything else. And it became weird, uh, you know, because I, I, was, I was never, you know, white enough to be in the neighborhood, which was weird. Um, but uh, about around high school, I needed to leave, you know, New Jersey, and I actually moved up to Boston, um, which was great because I got the, you know, I was excited because like, oh my God, I'm going to be next to people that look a lot more like me, right? You know, there's, there's tons of black people in, in Boston. It's going to be great. And so I go down there, I'm, I'm in my high school, and, you know, I meet, you know, people that look like me, and I, I feel great for the first couple of days, and then after that, uh, you know, something else starts happening where people say, you know, uh, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not very black, you know? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm not very black. I don't. Okay, so I'm I'm too black to be in 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 suburbia. I'm too white to be in the urban neighborhood. Maybe I should just go be a farmer. Um, but uh, I I I kind of got lost, right? And so what I said then, what I said then is okay. Maybe it's not that I you know maybe it's not that you know black or white. Maybe it's because you know I'm black and I I'm intelligent, right? I did well in school. I five on the AP chemistry exam. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um, Maybe I need to go be around other black smart people, right? Maybe that's what I need to do. So my first year of college, I decided I was going to go to a you know historically black university, and this was going to be it, right? I was going to I was going to find that these were going to be the, my, my people. It was this is it, right? And I went there, and no, <laughs> no, um, it didn't work out. It didn't work like that, which is why I, I transferred to Columbia University. Um, and so I kind of just rolling, rolling, rolling. Where do I belong? Where should I be? What 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 is what is supposed to be my crowd? What, where 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 do I where do I sit uh, at the end of the day? Um, and uh, like all computer nerds, um, I went to the internet. Um, <laughs> so I found this cool place. It's this is called this is the Lounge CS Plus. There's actually a couple people here from the Lounge uh, CS Plus. Hey guys, um, you know um, it's it's great to see you finally see you guys. Um, but uh, you know. Um, this was the first kind of group where they really, really, really wanted me to stay, um, which was interesting. Uh, I never really f found a group of people that like wanted me to just be or be around, right? Um, even though was, you know, this is a group of people on the internet, and we're all just in a chat room, and you know, we're all you know trolling each other and, and posting code puzzles and posting our code and be like, hey, I made something cool, and then everybody else piles on. It's like, oh, that's trash. Um, and they're doing that. Um, you, you, knew, you know it was good when you posted it and nobody said anything, because like, yes. <laughs> that, 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 that was code review, basically, right? Um, but uh, it, it was great, because I, I had a place where, you know, even for times when I like, you know, I got too busy with school or I was gone for a while, um, they would always be like, where, where's the PhD? Where is he at? You know, they, they, they remembered me. They remembered my name, and they sought after me, and it was it was a great feeling. Um, and then after that, I found another place. Uh, this was the the hashtag include Discord. Um, it was recently opened, and I kind of popped in, and you know immediately it, they it was like an environment where they kind of felt comfortable being there. Um, and you know for the first time, I kind of felt you know like I just had people that just understood. And you know, really just wanted to talk and be around and all that kind of stuff. And I got to participate, and they actually helped me fix some of my graphs. I'm going to show you in the presentation I'm going to give on Thursday. Uh, you know, to be like colorblind friendly and a bunch of other stuff. They're really conscious, and it's it's amazing. Um, and so that was the other place. And so the last place, you know, that I whoops, uh, 
I don't know how to go back. Okay, I do know that. The last, the other place I wa- also kind of felt at home was SG16, or what used to be the Standard Text Working Group. And these were the people uh, that kind of got me interested in uh, Unicode and everything else. I was interested before, but I found these people, and you know, it was really interesting because when they first accepted me, it was kind of all about, you know, uh, we're just glad that you're here, and we, we really love the work that you do, and we really just want you to be a part of this. And so I start, I start finally started feeling that that sense of belonging, that where I belong and what I need to do. And and finally, you know, uh, the last place I, I, I really felt like I belonged is when I first came here, and I was, you know, we were doing volunteer stuff, and I finally met Bryce uh, as I was coming through the door, and he held the door open for me, and he said, you know, it's it's I'm really glad uh, I finally got to meet you, um, and uh, it's good to see you, and. We're really glad you're here, and uh, you know, I guess I kind of just want to say that I'm I'm glad I'm here too.